All right, so the other topic that I get a lot of questions about is hip osteoarthritis. The most recent question came from Joanne who asked, my doctor says I have hip OA, how can I prevent a hip replacement? Now let's first start with going over a brief, really simple summary of what osteoarthritis is. If we're talking about the hip joint specifically, you've got your pelvis and your femur, and you've got cartilage covering both of those. And that cartilage is a really smooth, glossy substance that keeps your bones sliding and gliding really nicely on each other. But that cartilage starts to degrade over time, and we're seeing that cartilage degrade faster than ever now, which is why we're seeing people go for more and more hip replacements. So cartilage doesn't get very good blood supply. So if we want to slow the progression of osteoarthritis, what we wanna do is make sure that we're nourishing that cartilage every damn day as often as we can. But knowing that it doesn't get good blood supply, we then have to ask ourselves, how do we keep that cartilage healthy? And the answer is movement. So when it comes to osteoarthritis, again, we wanna make sure that we're getting synovial fluid into the cartilage. If you've watched my video on the hip anatomy and the hip capsule, you should have a really good understanding of where that fluid comes from and what it is. If you haven't watched that video, I'll drop a link in this video right now. Make sure you go watch it. Now, all of your joints secrete something called synovial fluid, which I discussed in that video. Now, you can think of that synovial fluid as your joints lubrication, but also source of nutrients. So we need the nutrients from that fluid to get into the cartilage and that happens via movement. So you have to actually move that joint in order to cause a diffusion mechanism, which then results in the nutrients from that fluid moving into the cartilage. So the less that you move your hip, the more that what we'll do is hit the fast forward button on osteoarthritis. If we want to slow the onset of osteoarthritis, we've got to keep that hip moving and we've got to establish as much movement or pain-free movement as we can. So I want to just cover one specific thing in this question as well, which is Joanne asked, how can I prevent a hip replacement? I just want to be clear and say that you can't, or I can't use the word prevent, meaning I can't say that doing everything that I say is going to prevent you from getting that hip replacement. There are so many other things that play a role in this stuff that I can't say that with 100% confidence. So what I try to say to clients instead is that Let's look at what we can do to stack as many cards as we can in your favor to slow that onset of osteoarthritis and either offset it so that we get it, if we do need a hip replacement, it's way later, or so that we don't need a hip replacement at all, hopefully. But when it comes to injury prevention, when it comes to things like this and trying to prevent surgery, we just wanna be careful with our words and make sure that we're not saying that we will prevent it because we can't say that with certainty. So when it comes to trying to offset osteoarthritis so that you get it way later in life and that it affects you way less, you wanna have a really healthy hip joint, you wanna have a really healthy capsule, you wanna move that hip through its full available range of motion on a day-to-day -day basis, which is where cars come in really handy, and just take care of that hip over time. Think of cars like joint nutrition or joint hygiene. You wanna be flushing that fluid in and around in that hip joint as often as you can, and that'll stack your cards in your favor, along with making sure that you can fully move that ball on the socket.